How are you? Hello, Mr. Hammerstock. When did you get over? <laughs> Just now. I had a cable from Mr. Powers. The conference is my first assignment. Well, an ironic assignment for your first one. Peace conference, the shadow of war. You mean it's really coming? Today and tomorrow will tell. There's still hope for us. I'm going back to London today. Leaving for London? Well, I only just got here. I mean, the conference is just beginning. I think that today and tomorrow the work for peace must be done in London rather than Amsterdam. Well, are you taking your whole staff back to London with you? I mean, even including your... Oh, no, no. I have someone staying here who'll look after you and see you'll give them all the help you need. You'll be in very good hands. Ah, here she is. Mrs. Appleby, Mr. Haverstock. Of course, you met us at luncheon. You remember Mr. Fissertittle, don't you? Oh. Nice, but I still can't understand it. Dr. Williamson, this is Mr. Huntley Haverstock, who represents the New York Globe. He's a little unfamiliar with Amsterdam and the machinery of peace meetings. Would you be so good as to take him under your wing? Perhaps you or Mrs. Appleby might see that he samples eight or ten varieties of Dutch cheese at dinner tonight. Mm. And now, if you'll excuse me, I must see what unlucky person is going to give up his seat to me on that London train. Mm. Don't get into any mischief, will you? Mischief? Your first visit to Amsterdam? Uh, yes. Well, then you must let me take you to Rembrandt's house, and of course, that you'd feel some... It might be a good idea if you went over the agenda of the conference, Mr. Haverstock. Well, no. If you'll excuse me, I think I see a friend. Mm -hmm. Mr. Van Meer, how are you? We somehow seem to lose each other the day before yesterday. I'm so sorry you were called away. Well, don't you remember me? We shared the same cab together on the way to the luncheon. Excuse me. May I have your picture, Mr. Van Meer? Thank you. from his point of view. I say, do you mind shoving your knees out of the way? You better hop in the back open. All right. Safety glass. I wonder who's paying. The chauffeur you got, Miss Fisher? Yes, isn't he? Are you two know each other? Oh, I forgot. This is Scott Folliot. Newspaper man, same as you. London correspondent. Mr. Haverstock, Mr. Folliot. With a double F. How do you do? How do you do? I don't get the double F. At the beginning, of and they're both small Fs. Well, it can't be at the beginning. One of my ancestors had his head chopped off by Henry VIII, and his wife dropped the capital of the letter to commemorate the occasion. There it is. Now, you say it like a stutter. I know, just straight for...
Well, that's the most amazing disappearing trick I've ever seen. You don't suppose they could have got up that high, do you? Well, take a look for yourself, old boy. Look, tell him your name. Tell him about the two small F's. That'd be a bit over his head, huh? Los forward! Well, this isn't catching any assassins. We should have kept one of those policemen and played bridge. Yeah, I guess you're right. Oh. <laughs> I'll bet two to one on the derby. <laughs> sails on that windmill. You get used to those when you've been in Holland longer. Oh, I could have sworn they were going against the wind just now. Yeah, why don't you lie down on the wet grass and cool off, old boy? I'll cool off in due time, but first I want you to do me a favor. I want you to get the police back here. The police again? We don't want the police. I've decided not to prosecute. No, no, Scott, let's... You'll get the police, because our man's in there. In where? In that mill. Well, what makes you think so? Look, a lot of things can happen while I'm explaining. Will you please take my word for it and get the police? I'd go myself if I spoke the language. Well, what'll you do? I'm going to do a little bit of snooping. I hate to seem executive, but this is serious. Come on, Scott. Oh, all right, you shall have your police. Kamera hoch und nicht zu fotografieren, das schaffe ich. So. Oh. Oh. 
come in and close the door, mister. Uh, oh, Mr. Van Eyre, it isn't possible. I've just been given a drug. Drug of some sort. But I saw you shot just now outside the conference hall. I saw it. They gave it to me when they moved me from... Ah, oh, it's beginning now. But the man I saw shot was a dead image. The man you saw shot, it wasn't me. He was a sub substitute that looked like me. But why? What? They, they want the world to think that I've been assassinated. Yes. To conceal the fact that I have their hands. Their hands? Who are they? I can't explain. I'm not certain. Oh, this drug. I can hardly think. All that I can tell you is that they are going to take me away by plane. Oh, like a bird. <laughs> Always at places in the city where birds can get crumbs. Vliegtuigen zijn niet bepaald geschikt voor worstelwedstrijden. Met iets nou leuk.
See? Old mill. Up the road. Look. Man. Old mill, understand? Well, does anyone here speak English? English? We speak English in the school. Well, honey, why you been holding out on me? Look, tell these two policemen to come with me. Very, very important. Big old prisoner, old mill. Tell them to follow me. Do you understand? Hi, Sector. Who met him? Me met gone. And who man worked in the molen gay fanging gay hooden? Yeah. Hi, Sect. Hi, work next for room. Gar had his best lesson in Sakalik. That who met him, me gar. Folk be him all steebly. Yeah. That's what I've been trying to tell you. Come on. Sector. They've gone. They've killed him. But it isn't. Who are you? Well, where are the others? There is niemand here the half an hour's welfare. There's been a frame up. Ask him where the others have gone. Was then the under and not took it gone? I made it by your other part. The sand feed out there. He kept it here a dark asleep. He says he doesn't know what you're talking about. There are no other people. And in any case, he's been asleep here all day. He's lying. I talked to Van Meer in this very room. Well, there's one thing I can show you. The assassin's car, the one we followed. The modern is in the shoe. Oh, out of the car. Rather a unique specimen, old boy. The only one horsepower car in the world. I don't care what you say. That car was here. Listen, I know I look a fool, but there's something fishy going on around here. There's a big story in this. I can smell it. I can feel it. I'm going to get to the bottom of it. It's the last thing I do. And nothing's going to stop me, do you understand? I'm going to prove that that was not Van Meer that was assassinated, but his double. <laughs> 